What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar with Cesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about seven different altcoins, CRO, XLM for Flower Child, Caspa for DaVinci. We'll be talking about HBAR for JG Aesthetics and finishing it up with Filecoin, Stacks, and Grok for Chad, She, Adam, Nowakowski, and Old School Official. All right, that's all we got, so I don't know why I did that. We're going to throw that away. All right, so CRO here. I do think CRO has high potential uh, by the end of this cycle. I think you could see prices all the way up at 635. Yes, I know that would mean it's worth over $100 billion. I don't throw that out lightly. I'm not just one of those people that's like, oh, it's going to go this high. And I, I say it could go that high. I don't say it is going to go that high. But but I definitely leave the door open for something like this because CRO, man, they – they market themselves, I think, better than most coins do. You know, in the crypto space, I feel like they're not that popular. But you don't watch a UFC uh, fight happen without seeing Crypto.com, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Does CRO Crypto hold on, Crypto.com? Do they still have a uh, football sponsorship? Maybe not. I'm not talking about uh, like football, like what most people. I'm talking about American football. Don't they have a uh, stadium? Do they not have a stadium? Crypto.com Arena. Yeah, they do. In Los Angeles. Okay, yeah. Um, anyways, you know, they, they advertise themselves. They definitely do advertise as advertise themselves. So I think they have the potential to break $100 billion in this cycle. If not, you know, seeing a price at like 224 to 340 something like that is definitely possible. In the more immediate term, I think you do go down. I think you had this nice little uh, move up, right? Had a consolidation phase at the top here and you're breaking down right now. You actually back tested the point of breakout. I think you do go lower. Um, where are you going to go is an important question to answer. Let's see here. Low to high. Probably down to about 6.95 cents to 6.5 cents, somewhere in that area. And then you'll get going, moving up. So that's CRO. Let's move on to XLM. XLM, Flower Child, you want to know the tops and the bottoms, the potentials for this. So with XLM, you know, not not easy to guess, but it's not as hard maybe as CRO, I feel like. Um, I definitely would expect at least $1.54, maybe all the way up to $3.56. If we look at XLM on the... Uh, market cap valuation. This is another one that I would say has the potential to break $100 billion this cycle. Um, and yes, that's crazy. But man, it's it's not common that I say that for most coins. Most coins, I, I, I don't give them the opportunity. I don't give them that option. Um, and I can be wrong about the ones that I do give the option. I can be wrong about the ones that I don't. But this is just my genuine opinion anyway. So here, here you are at $3.3 billion. A 10x would be $33 billion. 30x would essentially be at $100 billion. From the current price. Was that the current price? I don't think so. There we go. That's still not it. Come on. Get get like I want you to get right on there. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't doing it. But uh so yeah, that would be within a 30x, that would be within a 30x, and that would be within a 30x. So all three of these targets are absolutely possible, even above that. This could see a two uh, $200 billion market cap. So you could see prices all the way at six dollars eighty-three cents. Being down at 11 cents now, um, that's that's some massive growth for XLM. But you know, maybe maybe this one's a little bit like I would say, don't expect it. Consider it as a possibility, but more between here and here, I would say are definitely realistic uh, possibilities between about a dollar 54 to three dollars 56 cents. In the meantime, I do think you're going to go down a little bit. You know, as as most cryptos probably will. Um, here you are, kind of in this like channel upwards. I bet you come down. You might even go lower than this low here. But you're at 11.79, 11.8 cents, let's call it. You probably go down to about 10 cents or even a little bit lower than that uh, before turning up again. So that's that's XLM. Moving on to Caspa. Good old Caspa, man. Uh, the one that just keeps going up until it doesn't, you know. And what I want to talk about is something that I've talked about in, in a few of my videos with Caspa is that you've had a 76% drop here, right, from top to bottom. From here, top to bottom, you had a 56% drop. From here, top to bottom, you had a 72% drop. Every single major top you've had has been at least greater than 56.8%. So far, your top to bottom drop is only 37%. So I don't think you're done yet. 
I do think you go lower. Uh, you know, before I was talking about this thing going around nine cents and then turning up, I'm starting to think that's not going to happen. I think, you know, with the overall climate of the markets, you're probably going to go lower. And uh, 56% being the minimum drop that we've seen so far, that would put you all the way back down at about seven cents. Here you are at 11.19 cents. I do think that you have lower to go. If we take this kind of, I don't know, I would say this low to high here. Your 382 is all the way down to 5.7 cents. I think that that makes sense, man. It's very common to go just a little bit below your 382 and what's there, these previous like resistance points here before you had your last little hoorah up. So I do think you come down all the way down to about 5.4 cents. Reminisce in that, rejoice, it's great because now you're gonna get to buy this thing at, at a discount. So uh, lower and until until it sees those lows, until it sees that lease is 382, I don't think you're, you're making strides higher. And I don't think it's too uh, hard to consider or conceive that as a notion because you've, you've seen these kind of drops before all along the way up. It's been a very long time before you've seen anything like that. I think you're overdue for it. With the most, the longest kind of expansion phase you had, you're, you're overdue for some kind of pullback for sure. Um, daily looks weak, yeah. Uh, that's that's what I got for Caspa. So moving on from there, yes, I am moving through these fast, man. It is my bedtime, and I just had to do some stuff that I'm not really happy about doing, but whatever, it's okay. It's not not this, not in this video, man. But what, what I'm trying to say is uh, I am breezing through this. I'm aware that I am, trust me. Uh, top to bottom here, 382 resistance, 236 resistance, not, or, or support, I should say, ping-ponging, that's nice. Um, yeah, H-bar looks pretty good, man. Actually does look pretty good, not gonna lie. I think it goes lower looking at the daily here, I absolutely do. You probably do come back down to about this 236, but I don't know if you go lower than that. You might form a relative double bottom and then move up from there. I think you find support around that 6.9 cent area. Genuinely, I do. Yeah, H bar is going down for now, but then probably up. Filecoin for Mr. Chad She also looks like it wants to go down in the more immediate terms. You've got kind of a, a more intermittent. It's not really a downtrend, I suppose, but you're definitely broken out of the subtrend. You haven't really seen the re repercussions yet. Volume does look nice. Where are you going to go? Bottom to top here. Anywhere from about 4 cents, 4.4 .4 cents, maybe 3.7 cents. I'd say 3.7 to 4.4 .4 cents is where you're going. So lower, nonetheless, lower highs, probably going to come up and form a higher low or come down and form a higher low and then get ready to break out, right? You're kind of in this little like, like wedge-ish kind of pattern here. You probably come down to the bottom and then move up and get ready to bounce. So yeah, down, down from here, 3.7 to 4.4 .4 cents is, or sorry, $3.7 to $4.4 .4 is where I think you're going. That's Filecoin stacks. STX, that's what I thought. Okay, I just I didn't know for sure, but all right. Looking bullish, yeah. I've heard a lot of bullish things about this thing. Look at that, topped off right at. Come on now. Right at your one four one four one two seven two area, very common area to find resistance. Um, probably pull back to your eight eight six, a dollar fourteen. You're at dollar sixty right now. If not there, you could go down to a dollar itself. I would expect somewhere in this area. A dollar to a dollar sixteen. If not, you could go lower. Absolutely. Ninety-one cents to eighty-four cents, somewhere there. But I do. I think you're going to hold that dollar to dollar sixteen area. If not, a little bit lower. But that's what I have faith in. And then probably higher. But yeah, you need to cool down, man. It's probably not going to be swift. It's probably going to take its time, right? Just like this last one, it was dramatic. It might have seemed swift while you're going through it, but really, it's the upside that was swift both times. Like, you know, just it took. Look at look at how much. These are bigger lines going up, but look at how much wider the lines going the line going down was here, right? Like it, it takes its time. I'm assuming you're going to see something like that uh, here. So, from March until September, yeah, man, multiple months, multiple months before you see those prices around a dollar. Um, you might even have a flash crash down to a dollar and then pump back up to here, but that doesn't mean you're going off to the races. It doesn't mean that that's what's happening. You're probably, you know, if you see a flash crash, it'll come back up and you'll just continue to work your way down over the months and then you'll get ready to break out again. Something like that. So that's stacks. Finishing it all up now with Grok. Everybody loves Grok for some reason. I don't, I don't really get it, but hey, whatever. It's a funny name. Um, it's new. Let's actually go, by the way, stay away from whatever that is. Uh, let's go to Grok here. Let's see, did I choose the right one? Looks like I chose the right one. So, at least that's where all the money's going. So, wow, yeah, Grok actually doesn't look half bad, I gotta say, man. Doesn't look half bad at all. 
on a daily here. You know, it's a very new chart, hard hard to really say. It absolutely could come all the way back. Like, man, you're at 0057. You could see a 50 plus percent drop from here. Absolutely, you could. Don't for a second lie to yourself and say that you can't. Uh, but this does look pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it really does. Um, let's see, let's see you continue to grow, man. If you can get above this daily high close right here at about, what is that? That's 5783, so 0 0.005783, then things might be on for a little bit. But hey, you've had higher daily high closes here and still it didn't amount to anything. So uh, don't get too excited. I would say that it's, it's going to be really exciting once you get above this high. But until then, I'm not, I'm not holding my breath on this thing. You absolutely could go lower. But previous area of support might find a little bounce. You might go all the way up. Uh, you might go all the way up to here at about like 0 0.009, right about there. But then you probably come back down. Again, closing above here would be the first key, but you're not out of the woodworks yet. But just because you go above this daily high close doesn't mean you're there. You want to close above it. Um, and at this point, I'm, I'm kind of doubting you do. But maybe you do pull all the way back up here. That would be a nice bit of growth, right, for sure. But even, even then, still, that could be very well a lower high, and then you still roll over. It could take time. We don't have a lot of history on this chart. It really wouldn't be out of the normal at all to pull like a 100% move from here, maybe even more, somewhere up in, up in this area, and then, and then you continue to go down, right? You may, maybe not down like that, but you, you come back to this area, you bounce again, you find another lower high, you bounce again, and then, and then you're, you're forming this descending triangle, and you break down. It probably doesn't look exactly like that, but I'm just painting a picture here, painting an idea. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if you went up at least to here. You could absolutely go all the way up to here, but don't get excited. I don't, I don't think it's any time. I don't think it's time for this thing to be breaking out just yet, but um, probably does continue to move higher. Let's look at the RSI real quick. Neutral, not really a lot to go off. Let's look at the four hour. Four hour looks good. I would say it wants to continue going higher. Again, probably around that 009 area is where I'm thinking just below it but we'll see we'll see that's that's all i got for you guys in this little speed round so if you like the video hit that like button subscribe to see more thank you all for coming i'll see you on the next one bye bye